Hi everybody, it's Jen here doing my 12th Project Life process video. Just showing you there that uh, this week I'm using uh, the Messy Box from A Beautiful Mess Life. Oh my goodness, I'm totally blanking. Okay, it's the Messy Box. If you look it up, you'll find it. So sorry. Um, yeah, and I want to apologize in advance if you hear a bunch of beeping. There's some trucks and stuff out on my street, and I don't know what they're doing, and I'm hoping that my fan being on might block it out, but they've been quite loud, and I've been putting off my video for a little while, but I wanted to get this done so that I can get it up on time. I'm going to try to start putting Project Life videos up once a week on Sundays. So uh, if I'm not doing it, feel free to poke at me a little bit and say, hey Jen, remember how you said you're going to do these on Sundays? Because um, I'm hoping this will keep me caught up. Uh, I'm about three or four weeks behind right now so I think that'll help in that I can print off a couple batches and and um, do videos and have them ready to go. But we shall see. So let's get back to the video. So I used the cards um, that came with this kit and I'm trying to exclusively work out of this kit because I find when I limit my supplies I can work a lot faster and I just make decisions rather than hunting around and looking for things. So this kit came with some 4x6s, some 3x4s and some square um, 3x3s and so I'm using those and I also cut down on the top there I used a 4x6 and I cut it down for my title uh, because I just felt that I really love that stripey 4x6 card, but I just felt it was probably going to be really hard to read my date on there. Um, I could have used maybe white or something, but I kind of wanted to use blue thickers for my title, just to kind of pull in some of the blue from the bottom uh, right corner, and so that's what I chose to do. I'm using some of the um, 3x3 cards as well. There's one right there that I'm working on that I'm going to use for my journaling. I used a couple of them kind of to frame out photos and you're going to see here uh, and if you've seen my videos before uh, my process is pretty sporadic. I um, just kind of go from card to card and I I can't really even tell you what it is that makes me move from card to card. I just maybe my eye lands on that card and I think that you know that's the one I want to work on or I have an idea for it and I really truly just go for it with Project Life. Occasionally I will use sketches uh, because um, my current kit club, uh, Citrus Twist, they do Project Life sketches and I've never used those before. But for this one I just uh, went for it. I just, I had decided, you know, and printed out my photos already based on the photo itself, whether I wanted it to be square or horizontal or vertical, and then that determined the sizes for me as well. Uh, for some of them depending on which pockets I wanted to put them in and then I just I just go for it I don't make project life um, Something I worry about too much. I don't I try not to fiddle and hunt and pack with embellishments um, So using just this kit um, I tried to use one of the little die cut labels on each of the areas and some of the little chipboard pieces and then in the end I'm going to use um, a sequin um, that came with it as well. One on each card and then three on the title card. And I just kept it simple. So, uh, let's see, what can I tell you about this week? Uh, this is the first week of June. Um, the top photo there, we had just gone for a walk at one of our favorite places, um, the kids and I. Uh, so if this is the beginning of June, we are actually, kids and I are finished school. Uh, we were doing distance learning this year and we were done early. So we tried to go for a bit of a walk each day and uh, took a nice photo over at this lagoon. Um, it was also high allergy season, so that one photo with this sort of um, emoji with the X eyes, um, my son's eye was really swollen. He was rubbing that eye tons and he woke up the next morning and it was super duper swollen. So I thought that card was kind of uh, perfect. And then that little chipboard piece on there says it's okay because it was fine. I gave him some allergy stuff and the swelling came down pretty fast. So here you can see I'm pulling out the blue thickers that I had said um, I wanted to use. These are, um, I think, part of the craft market collection and they're 
kind of, um, well not kind of, they're like marquee letters and I really really like them. The only problem with these is you can't um, you can't cut them if you are short a letter. Like you can't, um, on my last process video that I did for a layout I used a C and an I and put them together to make an A because I was out and you really can't do that on these types of letters. And I'm already getting close enough to the end here that I'm doing um, journaling. Uh, so you can see how fast this was. This is sped up, but still I did this in three sessions um, on breaks while I was working. And I don't think this even took me an hour. So I think that's great. Um, I did pull out these little teeny, teeny, tiny um, alphabet stickers on here because I just couldn't get... Uh, my journaling to show up on that black and white label. Uh, I just wrote allergies basically and, and I ended up having used these and I think they're from Kaiser Craft. Sorry, it's really tiny on my screen. So it just says it's okay in allergies. That filler card there, I just thought it was um, really pretty script and, and there wasn't a lot going on this week that I needed to journal more on my filler card. Uh, this is just a photo I had gotten my coffee ready for the morning. We have an espresso machine and I wrote down which one, which pot is my favorite, which is the blue one. And no, it is not the blue turquoise one because that's my favorite color. It happens to be my favorite coffee. It just really nicely worked out that it's also my favorite color. So no, I do not pick coffee based on colors. Um, yeah, let's see what else is here. Um, the photo of my boys there is my husband was cleaning out his closet and some of it actually fit my boys and I was totally in shock. And then that other card there with the two photos is we went on two hikes that weekend and uh, documented and there's actually going to be some layouts that will go with those as well because we got some really nice photos and they were really good hikes. And I cannot remember and I cannot see right now what is on that other one? Oh, I remember. After the hikes, we went and got an ice cream at a place called Ice Cream Mountain. And they have a nice little area with an overhead trellis and chairs. And uh, we, that was really nice after one of our hikes to stop in there and get some ice cream. And relax. The breeze. There was a little fountain. We were kind of getting sprayed by it. And it felt really good because it was hot that weekend. So last finishing touches, I'm putting, as I said, one sequin on each one of these just to kind of pull them together. And that one was being stubborn and not sticking. And then on my title card, I'm going to put three in a bit of a visual triangle around and trying to just do as high contrast as possible with the color of the sequin in the spot that I was putting it on. So last thing I'm going to do here is just bring my cards up for you to have a quick closer look. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave me a comment or a thumbs up if you like it and I will talk to you again soon. Bye now.